I'm gonna be the leader Master Splinter wants me to be, I have to focus, train harder. Wish the others were here. They're good, but not good enough. None of us are. Something's not right. A foot! What the heck are those? training I was expecting. Hold on. Whoa! I feel... stronger. Not that I'm... Now, let's see if any more of those foot jerks are lurking around. Another ambush, guys? I seriously need to come up with some new tricks. Definitely new. Forget Donnie. Pretty sure I'm gonna need father to explain all this. Just a little farther. Uh, guys? This is getting kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Your lame sneak attacks followed by me kicking your butts. Deja vu all over again. Ninja style. Sweet! Zap attacks. Hello? Can you hear me? I... Uh, I... April! April! Crap! Reception shot. I gotta get back. A trap. I should've known. And these guys aren't messing around like the one... One of the rats spawned a stray mess. Shredder. Show yourself! Not so bad, Shredder. My soldiers have you beaten. Too easy. I could have you destroyed here and now. Your family's doom is at hand. You, your brothers, your pathetic fool of a father. Where has your feeble old master wandered off to, I wonder? If you happen to find the rat, do let me know. <laughs> Good, April. But Father, where is he? What happened? He's gone, Leo. Some kind of trans-dimensional portal? Maybe transpatial? It looked kind of like the thing you just came out of, Leo. Where the heck were you? Training. A and then... Shredder and his foot goons ambushed me. I told you guys it was Shredder. I'm gonna recycle that tin can for sure. Not so fast, Raph. This is big. The way they took Master Splinter and sent Leo back here? My sons, can you hear me? Father, is that you? Where are you? Physically, I know not. Mentally, I speak from across the astral plane. Janine, come. You are injured. Be healed. Too cocky. Let my guard down. And then Shredder. Stop. Do not punish yourself, Leonardo. I too was caught by surprise. It appears Orokosaki has new tricks at his disposal. How do we find you? I do not know. We're gonna come get you, Sensei. Wherever you are, nothing's getting in our way. We won't let you down, Father. I have never doubted your courage, nor your perseverance, my sons. And there may be ways I can aid you in this task. I found this strange coin, Sensei. I thought you would know what to do with it. Yes, I recognize this. An aspect of dark magic. Whoa! It, it disappeared! How is that possible? I can extend this power to you.
Should you uncover more of these coins, return them here in exchange for powerful blessings. And always remember your training, my sons. Father? Father! He's... He's gone, guys. What do we do now? We stop talking and start smashing, that's what. Ninjas rule! Father... Tag him and bag him! If we're gonna get to Shredder, we'll have to make our way back to the rooftops. That's where the foot jumped me. What are we waiting for? Let's go! I just hope Father's okay. We all do, Mikey. <laughs> Whoa! What is this? I forgot to tell you guys. I ran into this just before Shredder and his goons ambushed me. Looks totally powerful, dude. It made me stronger, but only for a short time. The power faded when that portal thing returned me to the lair. Huh, curious. No time, nerdling. Take it and let's go get... Just like Sensei intended. Take advantage of it while it lasts.
send the whole army. Them. I guess now's the chance. You just gonna walk through it? Why not? Maybe it'll take us to father. Donnie's right. We don't have a lot to go on right now. As crazy as it sounds, walking through this portal actually makes the most sense. Okay, this ain't too weird. It looks like some kind of shop. Yeah. Do you think they sell pizzas here? If they do, yeah, better make sure one of the toppings isn't tetanus, Mikey. That's cool. As long as it's got pineapple and anchovies, too. Ah, my honored and valiant guests, welcome to my sensational shop of sundries. I am called the chairman. Donnie, what's... Sundries? It's just a fancy word for miscellaneous goods, Mikey. Well, looks at this dump. I don't think good's the right word for this stuff. Raph. Just saying. Please don't let the detritus fool you. Your purple-clad comrade has the right of it. My humble market abounds with items you are sure to find both good and helpful in your quest. Wait, how do you know about our quest? Mine is a very busy establishment. A rare commodity in this in-between place with a diverse and thriving clientele. As a result, I am privy to, shall we say, the gossip of the times. Such as the recent news of your quartet's harrowing journey to save your master from the notoriously naughty clutches of the Foot Clan. Yo, chair guy. If any of those clients you're bragging about told you where those foot goons got our father holed up, this would be a real good time to spit it out. Believe me, my irascible friend, if I did have access to such crucial information, I would readily share it with you. Outstanding customer service is, after all, my highest priority. But alas, I cannot provide what I do not possess. But you did say you could help with our mission. Yes, yes, I have for purchase many special items, charms, and enhancements, if you will, that... Once bought, provide the buyer with powers and abilities they had previously lacked. Oftentimes, when they are needed most to overcome seemingly unassailable odds. I don't know, fellas. This is sounding like one huge scam to me. Oh, but I assure you, I am a legitimate businessman soliciting an honest service. At a fair price, of course. After all. Anything worth having is worth paying for, don't you agree? So please, peruse and ponder my goods. I am confident you will find something to your liking. will do. What don't kill me makes me stronger. Scrap for payment? What? Junk man wants junk. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. This chamber, it's closed on all sides. Great. No stinking exits. Hold on. Is that Slash? Right! It's totally the big guy! Turtles, be careful. Things aren't what they seem. Leatherhead? Yes, I'm here, mutant. In this fetid sewer with you and the rest of your disgusting ilk. But not for long. What do you mean? He made promises. I will return to my natural state. All that is important 
is the remedy and its price. What price? Your destruction! A guy who can't stand himself? Leatherhead sure puts up a monster fight. That's because he believes he is a monster, Raphael. He is a tortured soul. One that is easily manipulated. Slash! Let's get you out of there. What? Are those train ties? Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Even old leather brain's getting teleported. I don't have any scrap and Slash, buddy! You're free! How did you end up trapped down here? I came looking for you and your brothers, Leonardo. There have been bizarre happenings on the surface. Odd creatures appearing seemingly out of nowhere, roaming and terrorizing the streets to the point that the police are enforcing a mandatory lockdown for all civilians. Dang! Sounds like things are getting cray-cray up there. I suspected the Foot Clan is somehow responsible, and I came to warn you. But unfortunately, I was ambushed and taken prisoner by Leatherhead instead. I wouldn't sweat it too much, pal. The whole ambushing and taking prisoners thing's going around tonight. The foot jumped Leo earlier and snagged our father, too. Oh, no. Master Splinter. We think the Foot Clan has father. We're working off some pretty fragmented data at this point, so we can't be 100% certain yet. Whatever's true, none of it is making sense. Leatherhead's never attacked us unprovoked before. And what the heck was all that talk about his natural state? Don't waste too much brain juice trying to figure it out, Don. It's just a matter of time before that scaly kook snapped. Maybe, but that was definitely a teleporter he used to escape, which totally proves my theory. Shredder's got himself some new high-tech toys. I don't know. My vote's still on something darker than normal science, Donnie. Will you geeks shut up about all that computers and crystal balls junk for two freaking seconds? You're giving me a bigger headache than Mikey was with all his whining earlier. Raph's a total jerk, but he's not wrong. We need to quit all this dumb arguing and get going so we can save Father. That's the spirit, Mikey. I'm confident you'll be successful. I... I hope so, big guy. We've never done anything this big without our sensei. I'm getting worried we might not be able to handle it without him. We gotta get moving. Thanks for all the intel, Slash. It helps a lot. And watch your back down here. You heard Leatherhead. He's not finished yet. Dudes, where'd all the people go? 
Last time I saw the docks this empty was when that rusty sewer drain exploded and flooded everything. Ugh. Talk about clearing a place out real quick. Looks like Slash was right. The authorities have all the civilians hunkered down. Good, let them hide. Just means nobody's gonna get in the way of us pounding the foot. Yeah, but it means nobody's gonna help us either. Hmm. You might be right, Mikey. Nobody will help us. Huh? You'll see. Let's go. advantage of it while it lasts. Goodness, the chairman is full of surprises. Rose, is that a giant squid or maybe even a mythological sea kraken? No! Ah! And look who else is here! One of those punk frogs, dudes! Yeah, it's Genghis. What in the world is he doing here? Man, I can't stand those chumps. Never know whose side they're on. Pretty sure the only side they care about is the one that lets them create the most anarchy, Raf. Well, if they want Antarctica so bad, why don't they just move someplace where it snows all the time? I... Yeah, never mind.
looking at, huh? I don't know. A slimy little punk? Yeah, nothing like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> More like the mutant reptile calling the mutant amphibian green. Huh? Leave the terrible jokes to Mikey, Don. Hey! Why are you here, Genghis? What? Can a guy do a little shopping, huh? You don't exactly strike me as the shopping type. Yeah, more like the break-in and entering type. Not today, Turtle. Don't gotta break in when you're being invited. Invited? By who? Well, me, of course. I told you my humble shop is host to a rich variety of clientele, did I not? Only thing rich is you believe in this two-bit tadpole's not here for a five-finger discount. Four fingers, Raph. Not everything's about math, Einstein. No, but commerce certainly is. Mr. Genghis is here to spend his hard-earned money on my goods. No different than the four of you. Money? I thought we were supposed to pay you in scrap, Chairman. Yes, well, it's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Dressing? This'll do. Gonna make the most of it. Best wishes on your trial. Thank you. 